Hi babies and welcome back to another tutorial. If you are new here, my name is Cell and this is Makeup with Cell. I will be showing you how to get this very, this is a, more natural for me, like I, I usually go crazy like wham bam with color but today I wanted to mute it down a little bit. Our foundation today is very light and we have no lashes on so that's pretty natural. If you want to learn how to get this look, then keep on watching. Since this is going to be more of a look that is towards the natural side, I feel like there is nothing more natural than going in with a bronzer. With a <laughs> bronzer. Think about it. If your cheeks have the same color as your forehead, like the shadows of your forehead, as your jawline, as your nose, like why wouldn't your eyes have that same color contour, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna make sure that I get way into the socket where my, my nose is and my eye meet. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 350. I'm using a more dense brush. This is the e.l.f. contour brush. I love this brush. I use this in probably every single one of my tutorials. And I'm gonna really focus this color on the outside of my eye. I'm gonna like make some circles, just buff it in. Same thing with my inner corner. I'm gonna buff little circles and bring it upward, but not into my crease. Just like barely going into my crease. I'm gonna be going into this nice caramel shade. And same thing, keeping this on the outer corner of my eyes. Nice little circles. And just wanna gradually build up color. Now I'm going to be going into this shade right here and I'm just placing, literally placing the color on the spots it needs to be. It kind of looks really bad right now, but I promise it won't. I'm going to be blending that all in. Alright, so this step is completely optional. I did it because I just wanted the effect. Um, I'm going to go in with Suva Beauty's Hydra Liner in the shade Gold Digger. And this is mainly just to give my eyeshadow a base. Since that is still pretty sticky, and I'm just going to pat that on. So beautiful. Like, look at the pigment, man. I'm not going to use lashes since it's a natural tutorial, you know? So I'm going to be putting on some telescopic, you know the drill, this so bomb, man, so bomb. Alright, so we're going to take a break with the eyes for now and I want to go in with some primer. Alright, so for foundation, we're going to be making a little cocktail and I'm going to put in my Maybelline Matte and Poreless and some Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals. Alright, I, I actually, I actually think I like it. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's like the coverage isn't really full, so like if you have acne spots and like redness, you might want to do another layer. But if your face is like fairly good, girl. This, com this combo will be so nice for you. I really wanted <clears throat> a nice light and airy coverage, but girl, we don't play around when it comes to under eyes. Like, we can have a cute, a cute, nice little base, but when it comes to our under eyes, like, we don't play. We're full coverage all the way. I'm gonna use some Tarte Shape Tape, but just a wee little bit. As usual, I'm just going to set my under eyes. I'm not going to do any baking today. I'm just going to set them in and press the powder in. Now it is time to go back in with our Marc Jacobs bronzer. You know how like when you don't set your face and you put on some bronzer, the bronzer could end up looking very patchy? I I don't tend to set my face all the time like I did today. I usually just do my under eyes. But this bronzer is so good that it does not get patchy on my face. Like, I don't know, man. That is so great. I think that is such a great time. So I'm going to go in with Rose de Oro. But I'm going to go in very light-handed because, you know, you see the pinkness on my cheeks. We don't like that. See? Look. Already. 
I'm gonna stop here with the face once again and we'll go back to my eyes for my lower lash line I'm gonna go in with this color right here leave a space in the middle of my eye Where are you, detail brush? I can't find you. I need to rush. Cause I'm running out of time with this video. Please let me find you. I wanna go. And where we left that little gap, I'm gonna go in with our lid shade, the ColourPop Birthday Cake. That just made it like... You can you can only tell like at a certain like angle, but that just made the look like go from like a three to like a thirty-three. All right, all right. So just like our brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go in with some peach goddess and highlight my inner corner because this skin frost is to die for, honestly. While we're here, I'm gonna go and highlight in between my nose. You guys know I love doing this. I'm just gonna highlight the rest of my face with Peach Goddess. Mm -hmm. So I have a lip combo in mind. Hopefully it works because my lips never come out the way I want them to. Honestly, I just hate lipstick. And I wanna keep this on the out outer portions of my lip. So I'm gonna go in with ColourPop's Likely. This has been my shade to do this. Like, I love putting it on the center of my lips. It just changes up the look so much. Okay guys, so this is the end of our tutorial. I hope you loved it. I really thank you guys for watching and being a part of my channel and helping me grow. I really can't thank you guys enough. So if you'd like to see more natural videos like this, then please give it a thumbs up and I did something different with my hair. I gave myself bangs. If you want a little tutorial on this hair, then you know, comment. Comment down below, I'll do it. Even though I'm really bad at hair. I, I don't even do my own hair. Probably shouldn't have said that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.